Hi, I'm Janice from Atlanta, Georgia. So Dr. Walensky, I wanted to know what are some of the most useful skills that you've learned? Janice, I think the most important one is to listen. Learning at the bedside to listen to your patients, to not be the first one to speak and to understand what's important to them, to listen in a research conference, to not be the loudest one in the room, um, to understand what you may not even know you don't understand. There are many skills and clinical skills you gain, mathematical skills and quantitative skills you gain, but I think the most important one that takes time is to learn to listen, even when it's not what you want to hear. Hi, my name is Elizabeth and I am from Sugar Land, Texas. And I want to know from Dr. Walensky, how do you balance your family with your career? Elizabeth, I have always really felt it important to balance family and career. Um, I have three sons and working through having children and sort of balancing my clinical work and my research work um, has been challenging but fun. I felt really strongly that we're always together as a family for dinner. So we have always had dinner together as a family. But importantly over time, even though I worked full time, I got to all the kids' parent-teacher conferences and, and you know many or most of their after school events that occurred. They have over time recognized that I'm not around as much as, as some other moms, but they're really proud of what I've been able to accomplish. Hello, my name is Patrick Grusovsky and I'm from Ridgewood, New York. I wanted to know what a career in STEM, specifically public health, has taught you about yourself, the world, the past, and the future. Patrick, I think we are all in a lifetime of self-learning. As I meet more people, as I take care of patients, as I travel the world and have done research around the world, um, my eyes are constantly opened to disparities in care, to disparities in opportunities, to opportunities to do more good in the world, and opportunities to use mathematical methods and quantitative methods in public health to deliver more good. There is an enormity of work that we can do and things we can learn, and that's actually among the reasons why this, this field is so incredible. There will always be more.